Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you're trying to find the amplifier module booster guys for your radio antenna, stay with us guys and we'll explain how to do that on BMW 3 Series guys, F30, 4 Series, F31 and F34 as well guys. So, uh, quite a bit of helpful information in today's video guys. Quick introduction, we'll have more than 200 videos on this BMW 3 Series guys. So that should cover years 2012 to year 2018 guys. And we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why we do all that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully guys you will find the information helpful. If you need any parts or tools for your car, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where you can save even more money guys on car parts and tools. Now, you actually guys have two antennas. In some cases you may have one, in some cases you may have two. The second one, it could be for the radio, okay, amplifier module as well, or it could be for a backup camera antenna as well. So it really depends on the model and the configuration, but stay with us, we'll show you how to do that. One of them, we have to remove the uh, third brake light. Second one, we have to remove the cover right here. We don't have the window in the car, so I can show you really good where things are, because with the window it's almost impossible. But <coughs> you don't have to guys remove your window to work on that. So let's start on the radio amplifier antenna now and show you how to remove those, th those two things now. So actually guys, you have four of them, okay? Four modules that could be for the antenna. So stay with us and we'll explain guys where they're located. So make sure you stay until the end because we thought it's two, but it's actually four. So things guys that you will need to do. Okay, we're going to start now and explain what needs to be done. It's a little bit complicated. You uh, actually guys have, okay, I think it's two, okay, four, five or seven clips. Uh, I, have, I haven't removed one in a long time, but I'll show you guys. One of the clips, okay, it's right here, <coughs> excuse me, in the rear. Okay, you can see that uh, blue clip, it's one of them. But I'll show you guys how I do that now. Okay, I'm going to come right here. We need a clip removal tool. Okay, like that one. And, okay, let me point the camera. Okay, like that. Perfect. And I come with the clip removal tool, guys. Go under the plastic. There is another plastic, so get between the two plastics, guys. Okay, and let me get in there because this one is really, really tight. Okay, one is out, all of them are out. Now guys, we're going to go ahead and explain what else, okay, what else you need to do and where all the clips are. So let me show you now guys, okay, what I'm talking about. Now right here you can see you have one, two, three, four, five clips. Only five clips, okay, holding that third brake light towards the, uh, the roof guys. So. What you have right here now, okay, if you need to replace one of the clips, guys, if they break, you can just pull them out. Okay, like that, and those clips are replaceable. If you want to get some, uh, we'll have the link in the description of the video below, check it out if yours break. Those, the same way, all that is replaceable. Sometimes the clips will come off and they'll stay on the, okay, on the mount, so you will have to manually, guys, okay, remove them. After that, okay, just go ahead, grab the wire, okay, and pull it out. And this is guys, okay, you can see the third brake light out of the car. And I'm now inside guys, this is the mount that we were prying on. It's very important to get the prying tool and pry on this plastic. Don't pry on the headliner because you will damage it guys. And you can see where the clips go. One, two, three, four, and the fifth one is right here guys. And this is the one that what, what it looks like from there. So when you guys have the window here, okay, the window uh, installed, you will have a little bit less room, I have more room, okay, we'll need to disconnect that cable. That cable actually it's uh, not complicated to uh, disconnect, okay, we're going to explain that in a second. I get here with a small screwdriver and just barely pry it and it comes out. Then you have the two cables for the antennas guys, okay, and here, press down, okay, and pull it out. One and then, okay, the second one, okay, just like that. Now. I'm going to go ahead, okay, and disconnect. Okay, let me get a little bit smaller screwdriver. And with that small screwdriver, guys, okay, that thing will be attached to your window. Okay, ours is broken, we're replacing it, but you just gently, okay, pry it and grab for the, okay, for the connector. Never grab, okay, for the wires itself, because if you grab for the wires, okay you will break 
perfect like that now all we need guys okay this one will stay on the window we have one screw that we need to remove and this screw guys is with a torx 20 star looking bit okay right there i'm going to hold the module now so it doesn't drop while we're removing it pull it and this is guys your antenna amplifier module out of the car you can see that's how we remove it guys so once we remove guys uh, that shelf panel okay right here this is guys the second antenna booster amplifier okay right here some people call this one uh, actually backup antenna for the backup uh, reverse uh, camera we don't have one and we did some search in our case it's again for the radio guys on this one so after you remove that shelf panel okay it's right here we, all we need to do guys okay we need to get a 10 millimeter socket now okay to be order uh, to be able to remove that thing so all we have to do press in here and again just disconnect it okay you can see like that 10 millimeter guys and we'll be able to remove one bolt and i think we'll be able to get that <coughs> antenna booster amplifier out of there as well so you can see it does take quite a bit of work to get there but it's not too too bad Okay, it gets right here stuck a little bit so you need to lift it up and this is it guys this is the second unit so so let me show you now right here guys if you come okay check it out now you have that's the one that connects to the window here from my research guys according to the parts catalog that is another amplifier uh, module for the antenna guys one here and one on this side okay you can see right there and this one next to it guys this is the suspension antenna the one that if you're if you hear studying in your radio, okay, that will be, guys, uh, the culprit for that. So probably something wrong there. When your uh, window defroster and all that is on, that thing makes sure that your radio doesn't have static, okay, and you hear a nice and clear sound. But so what we have right here, we have this one here, the one down there, and we have two right here, guys. Really complicated audio system on that uh, BMW. But uh, that's it guys, hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you for watching guys, please subscribe to the channel for more videos, if you need help with anything let us know, thank you for watching and see you guys next time.